Let's do a brief overview of OneSearch. So what is it? OneSearch is our main search database here at the UNF Library, and you can easily find it in the middle of the library homepage. That's the search box right there in the center. So let's do a little search. So I'll just search cookies. And so what are we looking at? We have a ton of results, over a million. Um, and basically what this is, is results from nearly all of our research databases in, and including the library catalog of things that physically live inside the library. So you'll find all sorts of materials uh, from for video recordings, academic journal articles, books, ebooks, um, newspaper articles, all kinds of good stuff. So let's look at what we can do to eliminate some of these results because obviously they won't all be relevant. Not all 1.2 million will be relevant. So a couple of really easy things to do that are, are common limiters that can help you out a lot is um, come over to the left side where it says limit two and these are several of them. So the peer reviewed is very helpful. Uh, a lot of times you'll find that you have an instruction from a professor to find peer reviewed materials and so that's a quick and easy way to eliminate basically anything that is not a, an academic journal article. Another thing you might want to do is change your publication date. So this first number is the oldest thing that we have found in any of our databases. So in this case it's 1880 uh, up until the present. So you can type in this box and change, I'll just do 2010, uh, or you can drag the slider up there as well. If you type in the box, just hit enter, so it will redo your results. So we're kind of having it again there. And then another really common one to use is the source type. So right now we have peer reviewed on, and so that's gonna have us, uh, it's gonna show us mostly the academic journal articles. If you look here at this number and compare it to the number at the top, you can see it's very similar. So let me just take that off real fast and then we'll see what our other source types are. So let's say you wanted a video on cookies, but that one at the top isn't the one you wanted. You can hit show more. This will show you the top 50 source types that appear and we can just choose videos. Apparently there are six. So here are all of the videos that we have through any of our databases that have to do with cookies. Um, it looks like they're probably not the kind you eat in this particular situation, but that's just our, our demonstration here. So one other, uh, or a couple of other things that I want to show you are the advanced search, which is how you can do some other neat things to help limit your search. So this is, gives you easy access to the extra search bars. Sometimes we like to use those just to make it, uh, things look a little cleaner you have your and or not your boolean operator so you can change those as you need to and then over here where it says select a field usually this just stays there on select a field and it's doing a keyword search so that just searches everywhere it searches basically all of these things anything that the system has access to to search but if you know that you need a specific thing, something from a specific author, for example, or you know the exact title of something you want, you can choose those here. All of the rest of these on the advanced search screen are actually the same things that you see under the limiters. Uh, they just aren't all open as with the, like the date and that kind of, and peer reviewed and that kind of stuff. Let's go back to our search. And I just want to show you a couple of other cool things that you can do in OneSearch. There, if you click a title, which is what I just did, you have access to the full text of whatever the document was. This happens to be a video, so it's down at the bottom. But you have these tools over here on the right-hand side, and they're pretty self-explanatory, but I do like to point out a few of them. Um, you can, of course, save or email yourself the documents or links to them. There is a citation tool. Uh, this is not perfect, but it's definitely a nice thing to start with. If you just need to grab a quick citation that you just want to keep for yourself or that you know you're going to edit later, it's a, definitely a good start instead of having to do it all by hand yourself. There is an exporting feature that can let you send a citation to a citation manager software like RefWorks or EndNote 
Um, it supports basically any type. We usually have RefWorks already marked. And the permalink tool, if you like to send yourself links to stuff to read later, or maybe you find something that's useful for a classmate or a professor, grab this permalink. This is going to do two things. It'll function as a stable link for you, so it's not going to time out. And we'll also prompt you to log in if you're off campus when you click it. That will make sure that you get access to the document or a video as the case may be. Just last couple of things. As you go through searching, you'll often see this add to folder. It's here under the tools. And if we go back to our search list, there is a folder icon next to every item. So this is a great tool, but it does require using the OneSearch account, which is an EBSCOhost account, and you can create that. It's very useful, but it doesn't already exist, and it's not your end number and password. So you would just come uh, hit the sign in in the blue bar for an EBSCO account, and then hit create a new account if you'd like to use that tool. Um, if you want to download any eBooks, that's also a, um, something that you need to have this account for and we'll be happy to show you how to use it if you need further assistance. So that is OneSearch in a nutshell.